Hey guys, so as mentioned last time around, um, here is my new uh, Z-axis drive for the uh, for the X-Carve. Um, this is from an outfit called TBD CNC. Um, and a nice piece of engineering it is too. Uh, this will give me six inches of travel, so way more than the other. Um, it's 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 drilled for the DeWalt router attachment that you get from Xcarve. I of course don't use the DeWalt anymore. Um, I use the Cress uh, motor, so of course it is not going to fit. Um, so my plan right now is I've got a piece of three mil aluminium which I will mount on here using the um, what I would call the DeWalt screws because I don't really have a choice <laughs> of how it fits and then I will take my fitting for the Chris and mount it on here um, unfortunately the, the pitch of the mounting holes for this conflict with the, uh, the DeWalt ones and so I can't really mount this guy right down at the end which is where I'd like to mount it so I shall have to mount it a little bit further up and sacrifice, I don't know, maybe up to two centimeters of height here. We'll see how it goes. And the other thing um, that I'm going to have to go and get some more nuts and bolts here is these are all M8. Um, and so with the M8 mounting bolts I can't drill up on this plate from underneath and uh, counter bore for the heads of the screws because the head is more than three mil <laughs> so we're gonna have to go with uh, m8 countersunk coming from the back uh, which i don't have so i will have to go and get but yeah this thing looks like a really neat uh, piece of engineering so i'm looking forward to getting all this sorted out so all going well it will mount something like this so I've drilled the three mounting holes for the mounting assembly um, and so I need three countersunk bolts to go in here so it'll sit down properly on the plate um, if I have any trouble with the motor clearing the uh, stepper at the top here I also have this spacer piece that can go underneath and change of plan change of plan here in terms of this uh, mounting plate um, it's a little shame really after all my work <laughs> but anyway um, I went looking for M8 countersunk bolts uh, that I could use here for mounting this bracket um, and yeah I can find them the problem is the countersink on an M8 bolt is just under four and a half mil deep and this is only three mil plate so what that means is if I drill the countersink so that it's all flush it means the hole is now even down at the bottom end is bigger than it should be and so everything will be sloppy and so we can't have that we can't have that so I thought if Corian worked once it can work twice <laughs> so uh, so sure enough it, this thing is almost a plug-and-play um, except unfortunately when I fitted this and lined up the holes for the top here um, this uh, unit is now about a centimeter below the bottom edge of the uh, of the bed here uh, and I, I don't really want to do that I want it to be level with the bottom um, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that I'm gonna I have another piece of accordion I can use um, which uh, has my um, <laughs> diamond drag logo on it um, but hey this is a worthy cause so it's going to get used <laughs> right uh, I'm going to mark this up cut it up drill it up and um, see what else we might need to do um, what I will need to do is I can't use the other two holes down here um, however I noticed that there are some uh, holes on the plate that don't seem to be used so I'll have a look at those and see if I could uh, I think they might have been for locating pins or something um, but there are two holes here next close to the uh, original ones um, and so yeah I'm going to see if I could maybe tap these out so uh, yes change of plan but I think this is going to work just as well 
and of course I don't need any uh, countersink uh, bolts for these because I can uh, counter bore and sink the heads and uh, no worries. Well it turns out these two holes here were the exact drill tap size for M6 and so uh, being very very careful <laughs> I have tapped these two holes out to M6 um, and so yeah now I have uh, four mounting holes um, for the uh, for the plate which is going to be nice just check M6 bolt. Yay, there we go. Okay, so we can carry on with the plan. Um, and of course these holes are nice and out of the way so they don't conflict and it means I can put the um, the motor mount right on the end of the plate at the edge of the plate, which is cool. Coming together, it's coming together. So I took the easy way out. I just got the old Dremel out and I cut these uh, bolts to length. And so that's all that fitted. Um, I did a test fit with the uh, Cress motor and it clears here nicely. I have about half a centimeter of clearance. So that's all nice. Um, next up is to fit the stepper motor on the end. Um, my X carb is one of the very early ones. Um, and so later ones have a, like a a plug and socket arrangement here where you can just plug and unplug the cable. My one is sort of hardwired. Um, when I mount this the motor is going to be much higher up above the top plate than before so I don't think these wires are going to be long enough and I will have to extend them. But hey, there you go. Um, the other thing I, the unfortunate thing I discovered uh, is these are the adapters that went either side of the original mechanism for fitting the dust shoe. Uh, these don't work with this setup. Uh, TBD have their own um, adapter and so I have to order that up. <laughs> it's just a little, little bit of a bummer but there you go we're learning as we go here. Right I'll fit this motor on. So there we go initially fitted just uh, stepper motor Install. I just have to do the wiring now. Luckily, I think the uh, mains cable on the motor is long enough so that when it goes all the way up, there's enough cable. Uh, I will obviously not have to extend the stepper motor cable. Um, I spent or wasted probably an hour trying to get this thing square with the bed, and it turns out I had a little tool problem. So it looks like I'm out of luck two out of two when it comes to tri squares. Um, this larger one here is the one I was using to try and set up the um, the uh, the Z mechanism, and I was having terrible difficulty with it. Um, and I thought it shouldn't be this hard. It's not that complicated a thing. So in the end, when I put my engineering square on it, I was able to set it up no problem. And so I thought I don't know if you can see this in the video, but the internal angle on this larger uh, tri-square is more than 90 degrees because when it's touching, when the engineering one is touching at the bottom I hope you can see it as it goes up it splays out and we have an angle <laughs> which is not 90 degrees anyway that's that out of the way at least I can get on now with the wiring okay so uh, that looks to be all wired up nice and neatly so I've extended the stepper motor cable so they go down to the tag strip where they need to connect. I've wired in the uh, limit switch at the top and I've wired in the other limits uh, this one over here because this one got smashed uh, in my early days of messing with this thing um, I tried to do a homing routine and for some reason the Z went flying up to the top and the Y went flying to the front completely smashed this uh, little micro switch and sent the bits across the room so um, yeah we'll see if we can get it homing properly this time so yeah looking better than it's looked for a while um, next up is going to be some testing and recalibrating so it's the next morning and uh, just a final step is to do the recalibration of the steps per minute uh, so that the z-axis moves up and down correctly 
and uh, Luke uh, from TBD CNC tells me that the correct parameter to start out with for 102 is 49.909 so I put that in and initial measurements seem to indicate that that's pretty accurate bother doing any more accuracy and tuning testing until I've fitted the uh, the whole risers and uh, Luke tells me they'll be in the mail in the next day or two so that's it for part one part two will be raising this whole thing up off the bed um, and fitting the new belts more to come <laughs>